What is up everyone? This is Karen here. Welcome back to Tech Karen YouTube channel Project Sakura which is based on Android version 11. A very interesting kind of custom room available for the Redmi Note 8 users. This room is quite good. I am using it for some time and this room is looking quite good. It has the Google Apps available pre-installed and as you already know I just love to use the Google Apps build on my device. And the thing is it's based on Lineage OS which has a very interesting kind of UI trebuchet launcher i'm going to show you the bugs and features which you get in this project sakura let's get started let's find out some things here first of all if we talk about this control center or you can say the quick settings these are very interestingly themed we have many important options available like the screencast screen recording if i check out the screen recording some things which you get here we have the option of record audio and show touches on screen but we don't get any option of the fps which you can adjust on your device if you want to like how much frames you want and 1080p or other things only two things are available to customize if you're looking for the default launcher, we have the icon back support, which is quite good. Icon size, which you can change, add app icons to home screen. But I got a bug here, which is, I don't know if, a, if it is a bug or not. The app lock feature is not working for me. Hidden and protected apps, nothing is happening here. And like that, if you enable, if you try to open the developer options, these are not working either. And if I try to open it once again, like this, you'll see the Trebuchet keeps stopping, which is a default launcher. So unfortunately, you can't access the developer options, which I don't know why, but yes, you can't access. So this is the bug, but this is actually not a major bug. It's just up to you, you can simply change the launcher. If you don't want to use the developer options, simply, I don't think so most of the users use them. So that's a very good kind of thing. And this is not a major bug kind of. If you're looking for the camera, it can have the normal Snapdragon camera, which I don't think so you will use, and I also don't use this much. We have the support of Gcams, we can use Gcam, like the Gcam 7.4, Gcam 7.3, we can also use the Gcam latest 8.1, so all of those options, features are available for you if you want to use them you can simply use them it's just up to you like that we have the audio fx available as it's based on lineage os that's why it has the audio fx available as a pre-installed thing if you're looking for customizing your equalizer if you want to use a good kind of sound modules if you want to use good kind of you want to hear some good songs this might be a good choice for you if you use the audio fx on your devices sometimes use that but that's good and one of the best things which I liked about this build is the safety net status. The safety net status pass out of the box which means you don't need to root your device, you don't need magisk, you don't need magisk hide. I haven't rooted my device yet and the safety net status is still passing which is quite good. I don't need to root my device and sometimes users just install the room and don't want to root that so this might be a very good choice for you if you're looking to install this build you can simply install this like as a zip file and install and reboot and i am not going to show the installation because it's kind of the same like other kind of custom rooms like other custom rooms we have the notification history bubbles which you can simply enable or disable by going into settings other things we have the hide silent notification the status bar and notification light and etc etc and we have the ASIN color customizations also which you can customize very easily by going into display settings adaptive brightness yes option is available here but if you're going for the styles and wallpapers like as you can see i have applied a custom custom style which you can also enable which you can also apply and make your own this is a very interesting thing and grid we have up to 6 by 6 which is good and including that we have new kind of clock styles options available which you can simply enable or disable on your device these are some major things and interesting things about the project sakura which you can install on your device if you want to if you're a noted user you can try out this build on your device as it's avsp based or lineage os based so of course multitasking ram management everything seems to be good if you compared with the miui if you go for the security tab fingerprint face lock both of the options are available and both of the things i've tested and working perfectly fine xiaomi parts is also included here where you have the mi sound enhancer but does include the usb fast charge 
which might be a negative thing but that's not a big case also including that if you go for this project sakura options we have the lineage parts which is a very interesting thing buttons and status bar customizations and including that we have some interface volti wo wi-fi i don't have a sim card option available i don't have the sim card right now installed on my device that's why the volti and wo wi-fi icons were not showing and one UI space related things options are available here to themes and we have the G visual mode where I have enabled the medium rounded corner which you can also adjust according to your device according to your preference animations options available quick settings lock screen gestures notifications many kind of options are available for you which you can simply try and enable all these options on your device if you're looking for them this is all from today's video. I hope you like this. Don't forget to like and share this video and goodbye.